All right, this is going to be my review on uh, High Sierra Hydration Pack. This is a one and a half liter pack. That's how much water it holds. Um, they say that they accept most brands of uh, water filters. Um, this pack I've had for probably close to 10 years now. Um, so I can pretty much vouch for the, the size of the pack, the weight of the pack how it feels to carry. Um, I've carried this a lot. Um, it has a little zipper pouch here. You can store, you know, keys, whatever you want in there, whatever you need when you're, if you're using it for hiking or something like that. It does have this little uh, slot here. Um, you can put a carabiner on there, of course. Uh, it's actually, I think, made for like a bike light, you know, like one of those red flashing lights for at night or if you're riding on your bike. Um, the zipper quality is really good. It has this little uh, pull tab on it, which works really nice. Um, never had trouble with that. Um, the pack itself is kind of high visibility. Um, it does have this uh, Vipple mesh, which is pretty cool, keeps it cool. Um, destroys insulated, supposedly keeps that from freezing. Um, uh, I'm in Orlando, so there's not much freezing going on here. Uh, the bag has a lot of adjustability. I like to keep it tight on my back, so I have it adjusted pretty much all the way. As you can see, there's still a lot more strap here. It does have a little hole on the bottom for drainage, if it happens to leak or anything. Um, it has a little hook here for hanging. Um, normally I just hang it on a regular hanger and throw it in the closet. Um, let's see what else about this thing is cool. It's both. You can put it on either side of the strap. You can put the drinking straw on either side. Um, it does have a a lock. It says to twist open, but it, you don't have to twist it. Just pull open. It'll open either way. There's a little seal in there that keeps it from leaking. Um, it is a bite valve, so all you have to do is bite down on it. If you have it open and you have it hanging, it doesn't leak. Um, as far as, I mean, I haven't had it leak yet. Um, of course, all these things are replaceable, too. Um, it's just the standard one and a half. See if you unscrew this, you'll be able to pull the whole bladder out. Um, just take off the plastic piece here. And pull right out. Of course. So the whole bladder comes out. It does have measurements on it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a little more than half a liter. I mean, I filled this thing up. Ounces and liters, the measurements on it right there. Of course, the hose, the hose and screws also. I mean, this I've cleaned this thing before. I've, like I said, I've used this for a long time. I've even put Kool-Aid in it. <laughs> Anything with the kids, uh, it's good. It's got a hanger, so you can hang it for drying or washing or just to, if you would just have it out of the bag and you have it hanging in your campsite or whatnot. Um, the drink straw has a seal, has an o-ring. sure that's replaceable. Uh, probably just go to the hardware store, auto parts store and get those if you want to. It tells you how to use it, cleaning and care. Um, so this thing has, has taken its beating. Um, like I said, I've enjoyed it. I, I've used it a lot. Um, the pipe valve again, like I said, it comes out either side. You can put it down. It has the straps down here to hold it, so you can keep it on either side of it if you want. Um, the only thing I can say is with this one, when it is full, you can definitely tell, like it has a hump, the hump in your back. You can feel it in in your back, no problem. Um, you know, you know if you're below on water, that's for sure. Um, so of course this just screws back on. If it was out of the bag, it would screw on easier, of course get started. Twist it there. Make sure the seal is all the way down. And then to put it back in, and it goes bite valve down in the bottom. So you just pull it all the way down there. Push it back through the front. Um, and then just fold the top up here really good. It does lay nice and flat in there. has a Velcro closure here to keep it closed. Just like that. 
Of course, you could store other things too in there. If you want to store a map in there or something, you could anything like it's nice and soft. Um, and then the bike valve went back down already. But if you need to, you just adjust it to read the side. If you have it coming through this side, it comes through here. And then the cap does have the piece on it to keep it from, from losing the cap. Of course, you can screw it on or just push it all the way on. Either way, it goes on. So that'll keep it from coming off, losing it. And it's a nice seal, nice and tight. Like I said, I've never had it leak on me. Um, I've used it plenty of times, uh, taking the girls out hiking or whatnot, going out. Uh, anytime you just want water, I've used it for painting the house, just to have water on me all the time. Um, but other than that, so it's pretty good. I think the sizes on this are 14 and a half by 10 and a half. Um, I think it has like a 100 cubic inches of space. Um, other than that, like I said, it's definitely gets my approval. I've been kept it for over 10 years. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.